our mama taught us how to be their man that they want. It's gonna trigger some of y'all emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all 802 of my beautiful, amazing, gorgeous, phenomenal, bright, forward-thinking, enlightened, universal, spiritual beings. Welcome to the motherfucking page. Here we go. 100% on point. My mama raised me. God rest her soul. My mama told me out of her mouth, I'm going to raise you to be the man that I've always wanted. And there's a lot of young men out here in this society who is the man that they mama want, but you didn't raise him to be a husband. So yes, he take care of home, he pay bills, he's a good father with his kids, but he wasn't raised to be a husband. He was raised to be your man. Hey, so shout out to my mom. I'm gonna tell y'all why. Shout out to my mom because this is very true. This is very true. But my mom, my mom was different. My mom always let me be me. I was always like, from the get, I love women. Like, since I've been like a baby, like, my mom always let me be me. You know what I'm saying? And anything that wasn't player, like anything that wasn't a gentleman, she would always say something. And everything I did was in honor of my mama. And I love my mom dearly, but I want to tell y'all right now, sons need the balance of fathers. I don't care what nobody says. He needs the balance of fathers. So we got to flip the script right now because, man, I was... I was my mama's man. My mom just always just knew, hey, son, this not this how I want you to be. Just understand this how you should treat a woman. And my mama taught me how to treat a woman based on the niggas that was around me anyway. I ain't had no uncles or no daddy, but I'm, I'm a street jit. Like, I had my homies. Some of my homies had daddies. I had some, you know, hood uncles in the street. You know what I'm saying? So everything my mom taught me, Fell in line with the niggas that I saw. So I have to agree with the guys, but understand that I didn't come from that background, but wow, did I see that around me. This right here is the problem. If a woman needs love, a man needs respect. Right. But it's almost easy for us to say, well, he can get my respect when he earns it. Right. Can you imagine if your husband said, she can have my love when she right. earns it? Just as much as women need love, your husband needs respect. Not only was he created to be able to need this, to receive it, he was built that way, he's going to be drawn to the places where he actually does receive it. Because if you're not willing to give a man respect, all you're willing to do is try to make a man acquiesce to everything that you get thinking you in your brain at every time. He has no time. He, he, and and y'all wonder why when a nigga go out, he turned. Whether it's his workplace, you know, some of us are like, why is he always out of the house? Why doesn't he like to be at home? Why does he always feel so grumpy or look so grumpy when he's at home? But then for some reason, when we're out with his friends or when he's at work, he, he, he's thriving there. He, you see so much joy in him. It's because he's receiving respect. He's going to find respect in the relationships where he receives it. And if that's the case, we've got to figure out a way to understand that there is a true need for a man to be able to receive respect. That's good. You got a man with that type of energy, but you just always, hmm, hmm. Then understand, one, that relationship ain't gonna last long, or two, it's just a lie, mama. I'm gonna be honest with you. The same for y'all dudes. It's a lot of y'all dudes that's insecure as hell because you physically, you think you fat, you think you too skinny, you ain't got muscles, you, whatever it may be. Some of y'all dudes be hovering over your lady because you feel inadequate. So she can't be happy with her homegirls. She can't kiki with her friends and have fun. She can't go out and do girls night and, and eat motherfucking whatever she want because your ass insecure. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell I'm going to give y'all some insight. If I am dating a person, I am. I have enough strength in me. One, if a person cheats or, or does something dishonest on that level, listen, let me tell you something. It is not your fault. I know it's hard to understand, ladies especially. I know it's hard to understand that you have nothing to do with this person's bad decision. I know it's hard not to look in the mirror. I know it's hard not to say, what about me is not good enough? Let me tell you how much I have done that. What you got to understand is you have nothing to do with a person's horrible fucking decisions. If that person cheated on you, 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 you thinking all about yourself. But if that person went out in road rage and hurt somebody, 
you wouldn't apply it to yourself. You just say that motherfucker's crazy. Let's not internalize every the, the mistakes that people make. Just understand your value and what you're willing to take and, and how you're willing to deal with someone disrespecting that value. Set boundaries. See, but you got to be confident. You got to believe in yourself to set boundaries. Instead of worry about what another motherfucker doing, worry about if they do something, what you going to do, what you not going to take, what you not going to deal with. And what I'm going to do is going on that way. Let me show y'all where my arm is going that way about my motherfucking life. Took some growth and it took some time to know your motherfucking worth. Y'all don't know y'all worth and y'all looking for y'all worth in the wrong places. I'm not finna give you a whole relationship tutorial. I'm not trying to jump in your brain and be your therapist. I'm not trying to tell you to put the Instagram and Snapchat down and all that shit. I'm not trying to tell you to stop watching people that with fake shit, shit that you can't afford. And they work the same job as you and they can't afford it either. But they dying to fucking keep it. They hungry than a motherfucker. They got packs of ramen noodles in their trunk. And you living good. You happy. But you, you, you support supposed to be but you looking at their life like see i'm not gonna tell you nothing about that nigga just better your shit i just gave you one fucking gym set boundaries set boundaries i'm out of here once we all up stuck like that